Let's go ahead and add today's date to our calendar. Our month, of course, is still March, and the date today is the 9th, the 9th. So today is March 9th, 2021. Looking at the 9, heading straight up the calendar to find out what day of the week it is. We have Sunday, Monday, today is Tuesday. So let's grab Tuesday, put it on our chart here. Here we are on Tuesday, but we have to go back to find out what yesterday was. Yesterday was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. There we go. And staying right here on today, we have to jump into the future to find out what tomorrow will be because tomorrow hasn't happened yet. Here's tomorrow. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. So let's go ahead and read all of these sentences together. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. We need to add another one to our count for our days in school. There we go. We have one 100, two tens, and not five extra ones, but now we have six extra ones. So we have been in school for 126 days. 126. Wow. So here's 100, 110, 120, 121. 122, 123, 124, 125, 126. 126 days of school. Let's do a little addition here. We are starting with three frosted pink donuts. And we are going to put these two donuts together with those three donuts. So for putting the groups together, we're going to use that plus sign. We're putting the groups together. Like we said, we have two frosted yellow donuts. And then we have to put that equal sign so that we can let everyone know how many it is when we put together the pink donuts and the yellow donuts. So we are starting on the three because that's how many we have in our original group. And we are going to do two jumps. Now we have to jump, then count. So we're starting on the three. Jump. One, jump, two. There's our two jumps. We landed on number five. We landed on number five. So you know what that means. Let's read this equation. Three plus two equals five. Three plus two equals five. Let's go ahead and grab our uh, number bonds here for our part, part whole. Well, the first part we had three, pink, the second part, we had two yellow, but the whole thing, when we put it all together, the whole thing, we had five all together. So let's go ahead, jump down to our subtraction jars here. How many do we have to start with? How many bears? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five bears to start with. So when we're doing subtraction, that's what we put down first is the number that we're starting with. Then we put down the number that we are taking away. And I am going to take away two bears. So we're taking away two. And that's why I have that minus sign because minus means we're taking it away. So we have five minus two. Now to find out what five minus two is, we have to see what we have left because that's what we're finding out when we're doing subtraction. What is left? And how many bears are left? Three bears are left. And we've been talking that addition and subtraction are related, related to each other. Check this out with our number bonds. We already said that three plus two equals five, but guess what? Five minus two equals three. Hmm, what a cool number family. And then before I let you go, I did want to talk to you really quick um, to remind you about your digraphs. We've got TH that says like in sloth. We've got WH that says w, like in whale, CH that says ch, like in ch, chipmunk, and SH that says sh, like in shell. All right, I am going to include a long vowel video, and I want you to see, and it's got all the long vowels in it, see if you can um, especially pay attention to the long A vowels. <laughs> 